everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. I'm Joe, and this is just a short intro video to welcome you to my channel. This is our first YouTube video, so I'm really pumped and excited that we've finally got something to bring to you. So each week I'll be uploading at least one cooking video, as well as a video diary about my journey to improve my health and to reduce my pain. I'm doing this because back in 2004 I had my first spinal fusion. So long story short, I had to have it redone in 2006 and have been left with chronic pain and nerve damage which runs down from my surgery site down into my foot. Not ideal, I've been on lots of pain medication over the last over that period of time, which is now, wow, 11 years, which is even hard to believe, and tried so many different things, been to different trainers and different professionals, but at the end of the day, I seem to do more damage and go backwards. I've reduced my medication down a lot, but something I realized last year is I've been working so hard on rebuilding my body from the outside and trying to strengthen my core and do different things that... I haven't even looked or considered what I could do from the inside. Now, last year I came across an article which is really what sparked my interest and it was about how or the connection between gluten and grains and dairy and the inflammation that that can cause in the body. So it was something I hadn't even really ever heard about. So I started doing a bit of research and came across the paleo way of eating which I look I've investigated I've been to a P. Devon seminar who was a chef in Australia if you're not in Australia who has started a, the what's called the paleo way which is a really awesome program I went to his seminar and heard quite a few of his guest speakers and spoke to people in his audience that are finding this way of eating is really helping them with the different conditions that they've got so I decided I was going to give this a go. I've, I've always considered that I've cooked very healthily for myself and my family. I don't cook with foods with preservatives and I make things from scratch, but this whole uh, grains and gluten component I've never considered. I came home from that feeling really inspired and thinking that I would I would give this way of eating a trial and I think six weeks later I, I'd signed up for his for Pete's 10 week program and decided that I was going to my family and my family my poor husband had to come along for the ride because I do the cooking so he had to um, come along for the ride and eat what was put in front of him but look it's fantastic good healthy food and I don't want to call it a diet because it's a way of it's a new way of eating really um, and something you've just got to put into your daily life and your daily routine I will be cooking I don't want to tie myself in and say I'm cooking paleo all the time. What what I found was doing when I did the program that yes, definitely I had great results taking grains and gluten out of my diet and my pain levels did reduce. But also during this journey of the last 12 months, I've found out different things that suit or don't suit my body. And I think this is what we need to focus on as individuals is not everything fits everybody like a glove. You've got to find what works for you. Um, what I did was I did the 10 week program. It took, as I said before, about six weeks to start when I came home. I didn't come home and just throw everything out of my pantry because I'm far too tight to have done that. So we ate our way through what I had and then I replaced it with uh, the alternative sort of food or the grain free alternative and started cooking with those things. Then when I started on the program, my pantry was already ready to go. So what I would like to do, I've, as I said, I, I did this for 10 weeks and I did notice good results. Then I have started introducing foods back in just to check that, you know, it, 
this was working for me. I did have flare-ups when I started introducing like grains and flowers and things back into my body. So it's something that I'm quite serious about sticking to now. But I would love you to come along on this journey with me. I will be sharing recipes and what I'm doing and documenting what results. Okay, so it is starting with I'm going to the doctor this afternoon to get my blood results so I've got a level to start with there. I've taken my measurements and some before photos which I'll post in, I'll do a before and after in two to three months and hopefully we'll see some changes there. But I'm really keen to maybe just get out there and start showing people that by eating properly, um, you can make these differences in your life. I think if you look at our population today and see all this disease that we're faced with, the diabetes, the obesity, the heart disease, this is something that our ancestors never had to deal with. And it's got to be something in the food chain that we're doing wrong. So come along with me, would love you to join us. If you've got any questions or comments, please um, have a look or leave me a comment in the box below. And I'll see you soon. My first recipe that I'm posting this week is a beef bone broth. So let me know what you think and would love you to come on this journey with me. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.